For Wheeling University Athletics, I'm Zach Ziegler. It's time for another edition of the Shane Brown Show, currently joined by Wheeling University head wrestling coach Shane Brown. And Shane, you guys continue your tournament schedule here in 2023. Last time out, another strong tournament effort. Caden Canning, Zach LaRue, Jake Powell, all with three wins. Talk about the tournament at Finley and what it was like for you guys. It went really well. Uh, you know, Caden Cannon came out and really showed what we've been working on, you know, definitely showing that we're going to get better. He lost to uh, a top-ranked kid in the country. I think he was ranked 10th and uh, lost in overtime. It was a great match. He did, you know, everything we've been training. LaRue came out. He, I think he had three pins. Um, you know, really went out there, dominated. Jake got to see some uh, some ranked competition as well and did fantastic as well. You know, a lot of, a lot of the ranked guys are, are seniors, juniors, so – Getting against that top-notch older class is fantastic. And earlier in the year, it seemed like Jake was having a lot of success. Now you're seeing other guys, like we said, Caden Canning, Zach LaRue, really stepping up. Seeing these guys and their progression through the year, how is that helping you as a coach? It's fantastic because it's they're getting comfortable and they're, they're showing what we've been working on and where we've really been going. Um, it's just really coming to light. So it's nice as a coach to see them finally piece it together and you know have all that success. And obviously, we've talked about him a lot this year. Jake Powell makes it to the semifinal round of the 285-pound class once again. What's been working for him that's kind of made him so successful? He's just getting after it. He's just trying things, you know, not worried about winning or losing. Um, you know, in the first tournament at Glenville, we saw that out of him in the finals. Um, a little hesitant, you know, didn't really pull the trigger. But now in the rest of these tournaments, he's just going for it. And then you mentioned a little bit of Caden Canning's success, also Zach LaRue, both of those guys getting three wins. What do you see from them that kind of flipped their switch in that tournament? Same exact thing. It's A lot of it is buying into yourself. You know, wrestling is a very mental sport, and for them to finally just accept the fact that, hey, I'm here, I'm just as good as they are, and be able to go against the kids that are ranked and not, you know, get worried about the numbers or, or the spotlight on those athletes and just take it to them. I mean, anything can happen, and they're just as good. Let's get it. Currently joined by Wheeling University head wrestling coach Shane Brown. And Shane, you guys continue through your tournament schedule. You have two more tournaments before you hit the Christmas break with Lake Erie this week and then the Midwest Classic at Indianapolis. Talk about these last couple tournaments and kind of how you're gearing up for that break. Well, with these tournaments, they're they're the toughest tournaments that we've got. Um, Midwest Classic is, is I think, if I'm not mistaken, the toughest D2 tournament in the country. It is an absolute hammer of a tournament, so we're excited for that. Um, Lake Erie is a good one. It's a little smaller of a tournament, which I'm okay with. It's not necessarily putting the guys, you know, through the work ho- workshop, if you will. Um, it's giving them, hey, you get four or five matches, and then we're good, and then the Midwest is where it's really going to come down to the grind time. And looking at this Lake Erie Storm Invitational this week, talk about some of the guys who we're going to see taking the mat and kind of your expectations for the tournament. Yeah, we're going to have, you know, our normal guys are going to go out and compete. And, uh, you know, I think that they're going to do fantastic. I think it's going to be, like I said, it's a smaller tournament. I think it's a 200 cap, um, which is which is nice. Like I said, I'd like those smaller tournaments every now and then just so it's not the same wear and tear of, you know, you go out there and you've got six matches in a day. You know, it's it's okay. We're looking at four, maybe five. Go see some good local competition, you know, in Ohio and, uh, you know, try to grow from there. And finally, talk about your messaging to the guys right now. As Like I said, getting ready for the Christmas break, two more tournaments coming up. What's your messaging to them at this point? Just let everything fly. You know, go out there and do what we've been working on, and, and it'll all pan out. Just go have fun. Whatever happens, happens, and let's go take on the toughest guys in the country. Thanks, Shane. Good luck this week at Lake Erie. Can't wait to see you out there. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. For Wheeling University Athletics, I'm Zach Ziegler.